Hey guys, it's Eric here and this is the gaming review of the Ukotel C12 Pro. You can see here that the notch doesn't block any part of the game except the edge where it's curved. So you have like the notch completely covered here. You can turn it around. You can see also the same thing. So we're just going to try not to block the speaker back here so you can hear everything. Um, these are the graphic settings that we currently have. We have medium frame rate and smooth graphic settings. Remember that this is a 480p device. Ooh. So let me go out to where the action is. So at the end of this video, I'll be showing you guys my battery reading and Antutu and Geekbench scores. So one thing I noticed is that the Ukitel C12 Pro runs better than the Umidi G83. I don't know if it's because of the 480p screen. But it does run better it's a better gaming device this is i would say that generally is not a gaming device at all but in terms of how smoothly it runs even if it's choppy it's not as choppy as the umi dg and i played this on the lowest settings possible and it was completely smooth save for the fact that you have like settings you have settings that are not so great but it is more playable if there's a word like that than the umi dg a3 it is even less choppy than the Omni G1. That was quite disappointing because I expected better from Helio P23 on any phone. I have played it on Infinix Techno and it was smooth, but on the Omni G1, it wasn't really smooth. As you guys saw in my gaming review, I guess Omni G has a lot to do in terms of optimization. You know, even though this phone is hard to recommend because of the 480p, you still get, get very smooth uh, experience. And the battery on this guy, I can't wait to show you the battery I am getting on the Ukitel C12 Pro with this 33 million, 3300 million battery. You were getting like, let me just say that I was impressed and I wasn't expecting that. I'm just going to where the action is because this game has gone on for too long.
so as it turns out i won that game and it's pretty incredible that it actually did but now let me show you guys the antutu benchmark test and let's check out how hot the battery is getting you can see the battery is pretty hot but i can barely feel it like even around the camera it's warm but just as warm as the rest of the body nothing extreme around the camera or anything like that so that is the score that i'm getting on the ukitel c12 pro this is the battery that i am getting on this guy so we have about seven hours of screen on time the standby life is amazing guys like it's not as exaggerated as this but it is amazing so this is our rundown of some of the apps that we used so let's go and look at the geekbench score of this guy so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up and share it and follow me on twitter or instagram to see my current giveaways actually i'm giving this phone away sometime next year in january so hit that subscribe button and it will mean a lot to me and i'll see you guys in the next one peace